You should have left me, Anathema. You are my daughter. This is where you belong. know what they did to me there. You needed discipline. You had to learn to control your power. <laughs> the bond between us is growing stronger. You are glimpsing my memories. Valen mentioned Nathema. What is that? Nathema is a blighted, forgotten world, where the Force has been corrupted. I sent Valen there to condition her mind, and teach her obedience. No wonder your daughter hates you, and everyone else. She learned to hate long before I sent her away. Unchecked, Valen was a threat to everything I had created, and to herself. Her power had to be contained. I sense something. Valen is drawn to Nathema once more. She would only return if she had found a way to break her conditioning. If Valen unleashes her full power, even you may not be strong enough to stop her. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galactic Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? That is not my sister's style. I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. I never thought to hear the name of that accursed world again. You've been there? Once. It's where Valkorion locked my sister away when she was a child. It's in the Corlean Sector. Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We traced the origin to that sector. The message was important enough for Valen to drop everything and go. Nathema is a tainted world. If I go there, I fall back into my old ways. Everything I have accomplished since being healed on Voss will be undone. I believe you're strong enough to do this, but I won't force you to go. Thank you. I will stay and watch over Senya in case she wakes. I'll go prep the shuttle. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. The Emperor corrupted the Force on Zyost and drove everyone mad with bloodlust. Here I barely sense the Force at all. The effects will be stronger on the surface. The absence of the Force could drive us mad. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the Void. Taking us down.
Greetings, Empress. It has been far too long. Where is Jarek? Waiting for you in his lab. Do you remember the way? Wait here. I'll keep an eye on the shadow. Call if you need me. City once stood here. Now only ruins remain. turned people to dust, yet a handful of trinkets somehow survived.
It's worse here. The void. It's hunger. It wants to devour me, mind and spirit. Annihilate every trace of my existence. There's something wrong with the Force here. All the more reason to move quickly. The Void's draw is powerful, but it will also hide us from Valen's awareness. Let's see if we can get these doors open. Why did your beast attack me, Jarek? I am the Empress now, not a prisoner. They respond to fear and hate. If you could learn to control your emotions, like your father, they would not trouble you. I am not like Valkorion! You told me you'd made a breakthrough. Everything is prepared, Empress, in the main lab. Okay, I'm ready. For anything. subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. Yeah, this will help. The beasts ripped a young man apart. He died screaming in front of Valen, but she made no move to help. Things are progressing well. A Corian turned his daughter into a monster. Or he simply awoke her in a monster.
I made Valen observe our dissections today. Showed her each twisted, broken corpse from every failed experiment. I let her see the damage caused by the implants and chemicals. Now she knows what lies ahead. Valen killed another Keeper today. She must learn that defiance has consequences. Isolation, fear, pain. Sometimes the simplest tools are the most effective. Conventional methods only go so far, but the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. Should feel better now. I thought Valen would scream, or cry, maybe even beg for mercy. But when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. I have returned to Nathema years after I once helped Valkorian tame his child. Now Valen wants me to undo her conditioning. Failure is not an option. Valkorian has given me free reign over his child. Death is the only line I am forbidden to cross. Fortunately, he has provided numerous subjects to test my more radical experiments on first. Jedi. I can still feel the suffering of their final moments. Valen will go to any length to break her conditioning. She's using the same methods you used on her. I tried to contain her destructive power. She seeks to unleash it, which cause serves the greater good. If this doesn't work... If you are strong enough to survive the process, your bonds will be broken. Have any of your lab rats survived so far? None were as strong as you. Is something wrong, Empress? No. Let's begin.
have to stop her. We're running out of time. Come on! Conventional methods only go so far. But the last subject I brought to the chamber went mad and clawed his own eyes out. I must recalibrate the machines before I use them on Valen. I recognize you from the Holos. You're the one in charge of this place. I am Jarek, a humble servant of the Eternal Throne who merely does what he is told. A justification for evil I've heard far too often. The pursuit of scientific knowledge is not evil, though there are sometimes unforeseen consequences. Valen, something went wrong. Her power is racing out of control. When it erupts, the entire asylum will be destroyed. Survive this cataclysm, but we need to work together. This partnership's over the second you make a wrong move. Your terms are agreeable. Valen's power has driven the Keepers and Beasts mad. I can guide you to safety, but you must protect me along the way. Hurry and stay close. It isn't far. What is this place? The Immortal Emperor's Vault. Inside, Valkorion stored artifacts even he feared were too powerful and dangerous to use. I cannot protect you from what lies inside. I'll take my chances. Everybody in.
daughter. What have you done? I can't hear you. You're fading! Was that Valkurian? He tried to tell me something, but then he disappeared. Enjoy it while it lasts. I imagine he'll be back soon enough. The power surge overloaded the circuits. We're trapped. This vault has to have some kind of backup system to restore power. There is. You must reactivate the power generator. But do be careful. Valkorian sealed deadly guardians in here to protect his treasures. After centuries of hibernation, I suspect they will be hungry. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Are you talking about Valkorian? Valkorian, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Emperor of the Sith. My low-born son has worn many masks. I am Lord Dramath. A thousand years ago, I ruled this planet when it was a vibrant world named Madryas. I never thought of Valkorian as having a father. One of many offspring I sired. He was the least of my children. His mother, a nameless peasant. But he murdered me, imprisoned my spirit, and turned Madryas into this. If you were a better father, things could have turned out differently. Do not lay his crimes at my feet. He lured many Sith Lords here before consuming them in a dark ritual that wiped out all life on the planet. He did something similar on Zyost. His hunger for immortality must constantly be fed. Why didn't he consume your spirit? For a thousand years he has taunted and tortured me. But now, salvation is at hand. This holocron has the power to destroy what remains of my essence. Grant me the release of Oblivion. I don't trust Valkorian. But I don't trust you either. I can help you defeat Tenebrae. I know his weakness. This holocron is not just my prison. It can destroy him once and for all. Every time Valkorian gets taken down, he pops up again in some other form. He is immortal, but not invulnerable. This holocron is the instrument of his destruction. There will come a moment when Tenebrae is vulnerable. That is when you must strike. Until then, release me from my prison, keep the holocron close, and bide your time. You know things about Valkorion that could be useful. 
Maybe we should keep you around for a while. I have given you the key to end my son's existence. There is no purpose to keeping me alive. Valkorion has many victims, but none who have suffered for as long as you. I will set you free. And so... it ends. I hope we don't regret that. Hold on to the Holocron for now. Valkorion can't know we have it. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jarek didn't make it. Pity. At least he was right about our escape route. Did you find what you were looking for, Empress? You tell me. <laughs> I have never seen such power. I am no longer chained. And what of your former prison? ships to leave orbit. Soon, there will be nothing left on Nathema but dust and ash. You need to hold jets, Commander. Power reading spiking. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside.
above location, Commander. Just waiting on you. Take a breath. I thought Valen would scream or cry, maybe even beg for mercy. But when the pain from the machines became too much to bear, she started laughing. A hideous, high-pitched cackle. The glorious sound of her spirit breaking. is about to come crashing down. Get out of there! Guys, you're on my sensors. You're close. You can make it. Get in! You do love to cut it close, don't you? Valen has broken her bonds. Now, she will be stronger than ever. The Alliance won't rest until she's removed from the throne. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Something in particular you're worried about? The artifacts hidden there are more dangerous than you can imagine. If you used them, it would be at your own peril. Valen's long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? She may be stronger, but she's not invincible. We'll find a way to stop her. Wouldn't mind a bit of R&R &R first. Or at least a nice long nap in my own bed. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessa is under attack. 